So, a lot of you have been saying such things like the Eagles have no chance against the Falcons this week. You're wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. You are so wrong. That's wrong. Wrong. Shadow Booth is the ghost. 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 The first thing I want to say is, you're wrong. Everyone's saying, will Nick Foles be the 2013 Nick Foles? Or will he be the 2017 Nick Foles? Well, he's the 2017 Nick Foles. Rams Nick Foles? Or the 2013 seven touchdowns in one game Nick Foles? The question you really need to answer, the question you really need to ask should be, does Nick Foles have to be 2013 Nick Foles in order for Eagles to win? And that answer is, you're wrong. No. The Falcons have just come off a very impressive win against an inexperienced Ram team. Ram. An inexperienced Rams team. Some could argue the Eagles are inexperienced. You're wrong. It's wrong we have a lot of veterans on our team with playoff experience. That is false. We are 13 and 2 on the season. The last game didn't count. And we're the number one seed in the NFC for a fucking reason, alright? But I'm here to tell you how we're going to beat the Atlanta Falcons. So number one, our defense, big. I think the biggest part of this win, if we win, the I think the most important thing about our defense this game against the Falcons will be our defensive line. And this is for two reasons. But let me start about our defensive coverage. First thing we need to do is we need to fucking contain that man, Julio Jones. Holy shit. If we have zone coverage, man coverage on Julio, he's going to eat us. So what I want to do is I want to establish a cover two zone defense, whereas one of our defensive backs, I don't care who the fuck it is, is playing man on Julio Jones every single play he's on the field. If he's on the slot, I don't care. We're not having a linebacker line up with him. We'll go the nickel back, I don't care, which is why our defensive line is so important. We're going to have anyone but Jalen Mills will have Douglas. Douglas, Russell Douglas, for example. He's going to stay on, on um, Julio Jones the whole game, and Julio will be like... Double move, and maybe he'll beat Douglas, but we got zone coverage. And then Matt Brown's like, oh, Hulu just killed him with a double move, we're going to throw it up. And then, oh my god, there he's going. That's the going to be picked off to sum up pick six, bang, bang, boom, we win. The second thing we've got to do, and this is the most important thing, our defensive line has to shut down that run game early. Coleman, Freeman have to be shut the fuck down early. Now, this is a key thing. If we shut those two down, we are going to be able to play nickel package and we can shut down Matt Ryan's receivers. We need to limit this run game. Also, the reason why our defensive backs are so important is we need to put pressure on Matt Ryan. We need to blitz with a five man. When we need to, we need to smash their offensive line and make Matt Ryan uncomfortable in the pocket. Make him throw it early. Make him throw out of rhythm. That is going to be huge on defense. Now, on offense, which is what everyone's really concerned about, no one's really concerned about our defense, but how are we going to score against that Atlanta Falcons offense? First thing is we have to limit turnovers. Nick Foles, if you're going to be coming out of the pocket, throwing to triple coverage like that Dallas play, I'm going to fucking rip your nuts off. Like, a dead set, I'm going to rip them clean off. We can't throw bad stuff. And everyone, we saw that Rams game. What the Falcons really did was they went scrape the fucking ball out of there. They were going for turnovers that game, and they, they did it. That pretty much won them the game, their turnover battle. So... We have to hold on to the ball. One thing that we're going to have to do is properly carry it and learn how to hold it without doing it loose because as, much, as good as the Jarhi and Blunt are, they have a history of turning the fucking ball over and fumbling, so we are not doing that shit. Okay, on offense, I want us to run the fucking ball early. We have to smash into their defensive line. We have to penetrate it. The defensive line hasn't been playing that good recently. They've been playing okay, but not as good as they've capable of. So if we can take advantage of their, of their defensive line and smash the run lane, we need a jar here and blunt in a single back formation, and we need Smallwood and Clement in the pistol formation, and we need to be checking it to them regularly. We need to get our small run game going early, which will open up our middle to long distance throws, which I don't want to be taking many shots off, but even the small to long distance, we need to get that down very, very early. And this will give a chance 
for our receivers to get open, which we could not do against Oakley. Our receivers could not get any space because they shut down our run game. So we need to be creative with our play calling on the run, make sure we run it early, get a lot of first downs. We don't have to score straight away, but we need to establish a really important run game. And this will force them to stay in the 4-3 zone. Shadow off here. Obviously, I mean 4-3 formation. I say stuff faster than Eminem's rap god, so I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. Please don't hate me. I'm saying what I think. So because go. the Atlanta Falcons defensive backs have been incredible the past three games. Holy shit, they have an incredible defensive back. And if they if they can play nickel, leave, and dime, it is game fucking over. We need to keep them in a 4-3 um, offense, and the way we can do that is to make them have linebackers in front because we're going to control the run game, which is so fucking key. Eagles have a much better team than you guys think. We have Selick and Ertz will be running corner out straight through the gut. They can, oh my man, you guys don't understand why we are this team. Our defense is on fire. They were a bit slow early, but they've regained themselves. Our offense has had three weeks to prepare for this game. They have their chemistry is going to be a lot better than what we've seen in the first two games with Falls, because I'm not counting the last game as a real game with Falls, even though he made a stupid decision. Guys, whoever counts the Eagles out, you're wrong. You guys are fucking crazy. Crazy. We're going to have Fletcher Cox, Graham, eat up this this offensive line. And, go, and then Kendrick's going to come from the middle go, Fly, Eagles, fly. On the road to victory. Fight. Eagles fight. Score a touchdown. One, two, three. Hit him low. Hit him high. Watch out, Eagles. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. On the road to victory. E A G L E S Eagles. Conference. Finals. Here we come. This is sexual, I know, but. Shadow without. You're wrong.